It's only a matter of time before robots take over the world, right? Well, it looks like that day may be a little bit closer than we thought. Allow me to introduce you to the Ghost Dog, a semi-autonomous four-legged robot designed to limit human exposure to potential dangers. These not-so-furry creatures specialize in perimeter security, remote inspection, and patrolling. And while they may look like something right out of an episode of Black Mirror, these dogs may soon very well become your neighborhood best friend. You see, earlier this year, the Air Force began testing these robotic ghost dogs alongside our security forces airmen and found that they could quite possibly be the future of Air Force installation security. I mean, honestly, a dog that doesn't bark or shed and can still provide some top-notch security? You can sign me up for sure. Now, if you're wondering how the Air Force got involved with robot dogs, it's actually pretty interesting. So back in 2017, the Secretary of the Air Force announced a new program known as AFWORKS, with the goal of fostering a culture of innovation within the service. By establishing AFWORKS, the Air Force began to develop effective solutions to the challenges that they faced through partnerships with private sector businesses and technology startups. So yeah, that leads us to the Ghost Dog. It's a product of the Ghost Robotics Company who set out to create something smaller and more agile than we've ever seen. This robot is really a force multiplier that can advance the Air Force mission by providing extra security, increased communication, and really a whole lot of other stuff depending on how it's used. Now the dog I had the chance to get up close with during this specific video is actually on a tour, visiting different Air Force installations and performing demos for base leadership on behalf of the Air Combat Command Agile Battle Lab, which works hand in hand with AFWORKS to develop technology and tactics that take the fight forward. Now, if there's anything you can take away from all that, it's that the Air Force really is trying to innovate and to take all the amazing ideas from our airmen serving all across the world and bring them to the joint fight. Whether that's technological improvements, safety, security, or really anything that makes the job more effective and efficient, the Air Force is interested. Now, if you guys are up for it, I say we go ahead and take an up close look at the Ghost Dog and see what capabilities it really has. I'm here with Senior Master Sergeant Marcos Garcia, who helps run the Air Force's Agile Battle Laboratory here at Scott Air Force Base. So sir, I'm curious, can you talk to me a little bit about this Ghost Dog's capabilities and where we might see it used in the Air Force in the future? Yeah, this is an amazing piece of equipment right here that the Air Force can add to its arsenal. Um, so this robot, it has capabilities where you can attach anything that the user needs to it. So if you're security forces, you can add communication systems to it. If you're EOD, you can add an arm to it, and this could be the new uh, detection robot. Uh, if you're uh, emergency management, you can add uh, sea, sea burn sensors on it, so now it can uh, test for chemicals. It's endless possibilities with this robot, and it's going to be very interesting to see how the Air Force can use it. Now, I'm not sure if you own dogs personally, but I'm sure owning this thing has presented a little bit of a different experience, huh? It's definitely fun to be around and control. It doesn't bark yet, but if it falls on you, that might hurt. It's pretty heavy. Oh. If we take a closer look at this machine, you'll see that the features and sensors are honestly pretty impressive. These robot dogs are capable of patrolling roughly seven and a half miles on a single charge. Now, speaking of charging, the solution is exactly what you imagined. The plan is for these robots to return to their wireless charging dog houses to make things as quick and efficient as possible. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention my favorite part. These dogs come standard with some absolutely sick dance moves. Now, if you're wondering how this thing is controlled, well, think of it like your typical Xbox controller. The sensors in the Ghost Dog receive the signals from this device over Wi-Fi. Not that different from your typical iPhone or Android, huh? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is see how fast this thing can run. 
So newer models are gonna be uh, continually increasing in speed, but this model right here is about three and a half feet per second. So the next demonstration we're going to see is how if this robot flips over, it can still operate inverted. Wow, so you're just going to kick it over, huh? We're just going to kick it over. All right, let's see it. Okay, and so it's going to get back up now, huh? Yep, it, it, it will autonomously just get back up on its legs. All right, it's trying. It's trying. There we go. One leg. And it's doing all of this on its own, no, no controller. That's incredible. And so is it inverted right now? So right now it's in it's inverted and it still operates. So it's still able to operate? Yes, 100%. And now what the operator can do when they see that it's been inverted, they push a button and it'll flip right back over to get right side up. Gotcha. There it's it is. There. And it keeps going on its mission. So another great capability of the Ghost Dog is its maneuverability. It can do a full 360, it can high step through marshes, and it can run lines down a perimeter, which is great for our air-based perimeter security. All right, last but not least, I hear this dog can actually go up and down stairs. Is that true? It is 100% true. This dog is fully capable of going up and down the stairs. All right, let's see it. All right, let's go. All right, I have to admit, these robot dogs are pretty cool. And assuming they don't take over the world anytime soon, they could be quite the asset to our Air Force. It's awesome to see the innovation that our military is constantly investing in. And if you're anything like me, well, I'm pretty excited for what the future holds. There you go. There you go, Sam. Killing it. Go. Come on, seven feet a second, let's go.